Good morning everyone. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I am awake as is everybody else. Uh, we've got an 8.30 departure for our trip out to the volcano and the thermal area. Um, so I need to have breakfast and put on some sunscreen before then. So better get started otherwise I'm going to be late. So I already said started. I'm still going to have to say it. Let's get this day started. <laughs> Breakfast was actually pretty good. That was a lot of eggs and toast. I'm stuffed. Time to walk it off. And I've got four minutes to spare, which is not too bad. I guess I better go and pay for breakfast, actually. I think they get upset if you don't do that. Then we'll be on our way. We made it to our village where our hike is going from, and the sun has come out, which is quite nice. Um, just buying some food, and then we're going to start walking. Donde esta el cerveza? Dogs. You know how good I am with dogs. You belong here with me Sometimes things aren't meant to be explained Just be thankful you don't have smell of vision because the sulfur here is pretty intense. So that's the sound of the sand hissing. Was it the place that was hit? You're an act of God Baby Like a rain pouring down Thunder in the middle of the night Baby I'm so excited, you're enchanting me with everything you do, baby.
quite a nice little hike up to a geothermal area, hot waterfalls and sulphur and steam and all the rest. It was good. Um, you can't see the volcano, unfortunately. Uh, it's hidden behind mountains, which in turn are hidden behind clouds. So uh, apparently from town you can see the volcano on a clear day, but I don't think we're going to get one of those. We're lucky anyway. Uh, it's been cloudy for the last couple of days in Colombia, so we will see. Uh, we're wandering back down the valley now to a hot spring that we can bathe in. You can't bathe in this one because uh, it's a bit too geothermally active. Um, Sometimes the water is 20 degrees, sometimes it's 150 degrees, and you don't want to be in there when it suddenly decides to go to 150 degrees. So the one uh, downstream is a bit more uh, placid, so we show you some, so, uh, shall we say. Um, right, but the views are nice. finish off our day with an hour or two of quality time in the hot pool and it's very warm even though it's raining. All done with the hot pool it's coming up on 3 or 3 30 I think and it's pouring with rain but uh, it's been a nice day. Um, time to head back to the hostel. Back to the hostel it is pouring with rain out there so I'm not I'm not entirely sure we're going to get to see any more of Poppy Ann, unfortunately. It's colonial scent, it's supposed to be quite nice, um, but it's just a bit wet. Um, for me, I am not too damp. Uh, my umbrella did its job, but my shoes are kind of wet, so I'm uh, leaving those out and hopefully they'll dry a wee bit overnight. I'll put on some dry socks and hopefully I won't notice it. Um, I am quite hungry though, so as soon as 5 or 5.30 rolls around, we'll go and get something to eat because um, I need food. And then tomorrow we've got a very early start uh, out to the border with Ecuador. So we're not actually crossing the border tomorrow. Um, we're just going to a border town and we'll do that the next day. So, uh, but that's for tomorrow. Um, for now, I am going to chill out and relax uh, and get over the hike. And then go and find something to eat. <laughs> Um, so I will say goodnight to you now, and we'll see you in the morning where we are heading for the Ecuadorian border. Good night.